In this video, we are going to be looking at the very best fall jackets to wear this year. So let's kick it off with number one, which are varsity jackets. Now I've broken this down into three categories, which are premium jackets, everyday wearable jackets, as well as some budget options for you guys as well. So the number one premium option, in my opinion, is from a brand called Roots. Now I have this one that you guys have seen a couple times if you've been watching the videos, and this is my all time favorite jacket at the moment. I promise you it's got all the bells and whistles that you want in a nice premium varsity jacket and which include you know side patches along the sleeves it's got this sort of varsity font along the front it comes in some different colors it has the premium leather sleeves now this one is a little bit pricey so that's the thing when you get these premium options when you're dealing with genuine leather I mean right when I opened up the box when I got this thing it literally smells like there's a dead cow in there uh, but in a good way so all of this to say that when it comes to a premium option you know it's gonna cost you but in return you're gonna get a jacket that's gonna last a lifetime so the second option is the everyday wearable jacket and that's why I picked up this black one right here now this black one still has the sort of traditional varsity jacket elements it's got the piping along the waist on and all along the sleeves as well and it has this nice black wool material so when you wear it on top of a hoodie or in in this instance when you wear it on top of just a nice graphic tee looks really really clean and also there's so many different ways in, that you can style it so what I recommend is follow me on Instagram at Bryce Kicks to see some of the outfits that I put together for pieces just like this one and so for the third option we are talking about that budget friendly option which would be to pick up a varsity jacket from your local thrift store now if you whatever town you live in if you live in Chicago you type in Chicago thrift stores wherever you are there are local places where people are selling secondhand clothing and if you go into these places you can find these jackets gems now I've done this plenty of times there's so many places in my local area where I'll go to grab some of the jackets and that's what you're seeing here with this brown one and I absolutely love it it has a ton of wear to it a little too much wear in certain areas but overall I was looking for a brown varsity jacket with leather sleeves and that's what I'm getting right and this thing only cost me $90 so for the next hour we are talking about workwear jackets. Now I have two great options for you. Number one is the Carhartt Duck Detroit jacket. Now I featured this a bunch of times on the channel and that just goes to show how much I love this jacket and how much I wear it all the time. And it's already starting to show the natural signs of wear in just one year, which I absolutely love. And so what I would recommend to you is if you do buy this jacket, you know, wear it a ton and naturally it'll start to distress in all of the right places and really give it more character. However, the second type of jacket that we're gonna be talking about is the Dickies Eisenhower jacket now I really really love this jacket it is a little bit uh, you know more muted and uh, it's fitted for casual everyday wear however it still has that traditional style that I absolutely love which includes a collar and a little some little side details and the patch along the front and of course that famous gold or that copper zipper and these are two of my favorite uh, workwear style jackets they just really overall boost my confidence when I wear them and one other way that you can sort of boost your confidence super easy uh, when it comes to you know your clothing is elevating your overall appearance and one of the easiest ways to do that is to have clear skin which I always do with products from T Shanley. They have everything that you need to develop a daily skin routine that will help you look and feel your best. They have sponsored this video and I'm really glad because they've helped me start and maintain my skincare routine by making the entire process uncomplicated. I recommend you start with the level one system which comes with all the basics. A daily face wash to get rid of the dirt and grime on your skin, two times per week exfoliating scrub to get rid of dense skin cells, and a AM moisturizer with SPF 20 because you should always be protecting your skin from the sun. Finally, a PM moisturizer to help your skin stay hydrated and healthy throughout the night. My favorite part is that every box comes with an instruction card that tells you when and how to use each product. In addition to amazing skin, members of Tiege Henley get tons of benefits including 25% off the retail price and the ability to customize your box. You can even pause or cancel at any time. Plus, you get free US shipping. And because Tiege Henley is sponsoring this video, you know they're going to hook you guys up. So use the link in my description to sign up and not only will you get Tiege Henley for the best possible price, but they'll also throw in a free gift. So make sure you guys click that link in the description to get started for just $30. So let's talk about the next style, which are denim jackets. Now, my favorite one to wear at the moment is from Stussy. And what I love the most about it is that it does have that sort of traditional work style, but in the denim option. But either way, I did get this one. It was a little bit big. Um, uh, I did get it in a medium. But the great thing is that when you wear a jacket that fits a little bit too big, 
you could throw on a heavy sweater underneath and even a t-shirt underneath that sweater uh, to get sort of that layered look and next thing you know it's filled out a little bit more and then if you cut the sleeves I think cuffing sleeves on denim jackets is perfect I think it looks really great to it has throw that uh, the underside of the denim which is a little bit lighter just gives a little bit more of a contrast look to it however if you guys are looking for more of a budget option one of my favorites is from Uniqlo now Uniqlo uh, from their U collection that dropped maybe about two or three years ago they came out with this absolute banger right here now what I love most about it aside from the pockets like I mentioned from the first one is some of those key details now if you'll notice the collar is a little bit different it does sort of have that sort of camp collar look to it um, which just adds a little bit more detail to it however it is made from Japanese denim which is super premium and Uniqlo is always like has affordable options right so you're getting premium quality for a lesser price now you is one of my favorite collections that they drop throughout the year either way I'll leave some links for some similar options uh, for you guys to shop however Uniqlo is always a great option when it comes to denim so for the next style we are talking about fleece jackets now fleece jackets are really great and trendy right now and when it comes to buying these I would recommend that you guys get them in this beige color um, they're really common uh, to find in this color now when it comes to these I would recommend getting them in a little bit of a baggier look to it and the reason for that is more functional than it is uh, for appearance and the reason is because you can style a hoodie underneath you know you or you can sort of put a, wear it with a t-shirt underneath to get that sort of baggier drapier look like you guys are seeing here and another great thing about these jackets is that if you're the type of person that doesn't love wearing a bulky puffer jacket uh, then this is a great alternative for you as I mentioned if you throw in a hoodie or just a thicker sweater underneath you can sort of get away just given the fact that it is super warm and the next style of jacket are more of the heavier your option which are puffer jackets now there's a couple options that you guys can go and number one is with you Nicola. I've mentioned them a bunch of times I've just been picking up a lot of their stuff recently um, but they just dropped their new U collection and in it is this great Parker jacket and it has a nice quilted pattern to it but one thing that I really need to outline with this jacket is the actual collar and the cut of the collar and the reason why it's so great is because it almost has a it almost has like a v-neck to it um, but in a way that's very subtle and the best part about it is that it really makes wearing hoodies with your jackets way more comfortable it comes in a bunch of earth tone colors um, so it also comes in brown so you guys better jump on these before they sell out so I'll leave links in the description for you guys to shop the look um, however uh, this one is of course a little bit puffier this one is fit me a little bit big uh, so what I would recommend is uh, you know take a look at some of the size charts once you click on the link um, however uh, overall I just really love the color of it and I was really starting to look more at some of those earth tone colors for these types of jackets I've been wearing like a black Parker for most of my life uh, so of course when I've started getting into YouTube and being able to afford some more jacket options that's when I've been sort of going for some of those different colors just to sort of switch things up um, if you guys enjoy these types of product recommendation videos then I highly recommend you check out this video right here uh, where I talk about uh, you know some of the best flannels to buy you know flannels are an absolute staple as you guys can see uh, so you guys can always check out that video if you want to see more or if you enjoy more styling videos I just styled the Nike Dunks 10 different ways I guarantee there's at least five outfits that you guys like in there. So why don't we check on one of those videos and I'll meet you guys there.